The parents of Nigel Shelby announced today they are suing Huntsville City Schools and the city of Huntsville for the wrongful death of their son. Nigel Shelby committed suicide after being bullied for his race and sexuality. Our Kelly Kennedy explains the details of the lawsuit. Two years ago, 14 year old Nigel Shelby took his own life after being bullied for being gay. He was a freshman here at Huntsville High School where his parents say he was discriminated against by both students and staff. All of this stuff was going on and I had no idea. It hurts even worse because as a parent, you want to do everything you can to protect your kids. Lawyers say Nigel Shelby endured both physical and verbal bullying from his peers. And when he sought help from the Freshman Academy principal, Joe Stafford, she told him that his sexuality was his choice. She told him to make him feel better. He could dance to, to black people music and turned on music in her office in the presence of other children and mocked him as if, you know, holding her own minstrel show in her office, which is an obvious act of racial discrimination. Huntsville City Schools says Stafford is no longer employed by the district. In Alabama, there is no law protecting LGBTQ students. The lawsuit is being filed in hopes of policy changes and for new and existing guidelines to be enforced. They didn't report as they should have when they had direct knowledge that Nigel Shelby was um, was suicidal. The school system says they're focusing on following their policies already in place. And Pillar 2 in particular, it's focused on the social and emotional needs of students and making sure that we provide them with mental health support, social workers, things like that. For any time a student seeking support, we can ultimately do everything we can to help. The lawyers in this case say they hope to spark change in Alabama and throughout the nation. Putting the Valley first, Kelly Kennedy, WZDX News.